Hello, Star Wars and unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and as of this recording, The Mandalorian Season 2 has finally unveiled itself, and I am so excited that it is back. Um, at the time of this recording, only Episode 1 has been released. I'll t give you my thoughts. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a standalone episode, waiting that they really weren't pushing the story forward. Again, spoilers if for anybody who hasn't seen it. Essentially, we all know that uh, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, is trying to bring the child, the asset, better known as Baby Yoda, back to his people, his his tribe, his kind. And uh, in, a, in an effort to do that, he needs to seek the help of other Mandalorians. So he begins his search by trying to track down um, you know, other Mandalorians that have gone elusive. And it, his search brings him to Tatooine to find a certain... Mandalorian, which I think is very interesting because uh, I know that in a lot of literature, um, and of course we're talking about Boba Fett, for those who don't know, and there's been, and the whole episode kind of lead is, is not really about Boba Fett, but they find a, another gentleman who has been wearing the Boba Fett armor, and it kind of tells his story, and, and they go on this little adventure, and I don't want to say more than that, um, but I will tell you that there is an appearance, again, spoiler alert, at the very end, um, there is a, you know, someone looking off in the distance, turns around, and it's Tamara Morrison, who is the actor that played Jango Fett, and all of the clones, and all of the clones that he had an unaltered clone for himself to raise like a son, and that would, and that, that would, that son would be about Jango Fett, or, uh, Tamara Morrison's age, approximately, so, you know, connect the dots, and it, means that for the most part most likely 99% chance that Tamara Morrison is playing the character of Boba Fett which means Boba Fett survived the Starlight Pit they don't really get into too much detail as to how that happened so um it's um it's pretty interesting and it does bring you back saying well I want to know what happened I want to know uh how how he came back so I'm excited to see where this goes it's a great series if you haven't given it a chance give it a chance I mean I can't imagine you're, you're watching this show and not having given it a chance but um I'm really excited about it. I really, and I'm really excited about how Lucasfilm seems to be really working hard to focus their energies on the Disney Plus streaming. I do think that that is the wave of the future, as it were, and I think that we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, new programs, and I look forward to seeing what they can come up with. So, um, today we have two items, uh, and again, we've been on a huge, um, a huge kick of things just coming in the mail, like every day another package comes in. Okay, and um, you know some of them I have uh, saved for um, an upcoming. Well, upcoming for me, and in the past for you. Uh, and you know this is a um, past uh, my 400th episode. My 400th episode, I will I would have been running a live uh, live stream on um, the, on Sunday the 8th. So you um, hopefully, if you haven't seen it, if you weren't there live, go back and watch the rerun. I'm sure it was going to be fun. And um, we have uh, a couple of unboxings I want to save for that. But here we have a few that I want to do. I actually want to get this one first. This was a Best Buy exclusive, and this is kind of I, I, this is kind of a partial unboxing. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Oh, this is um, the credit collection. Okay, I'm gonna actually do something a little odd. I'm gonna point this towards it. Look at that. The the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. Now, this figure I'd already had, and I actually did an unboxing of a few episodes a few episodes ago. Well, a few about a year ago, actually. And um, this is the kind of um, credit collection version. You see, it comes with a little credit chip, and it comes with the figure, but kind of in the more traditional racing stripe card back, which I love, and I do not want to open just yet. Really, really, because I already have this figure unboxed. So I'm not going to unbox every single figure, So, uh, if, especially if I have it. Now, I will say that the paint scheme on this is a little bit different, okay? And what I'll do um, in, uh, at this point, I'll actually impose, superimpose in front of my, my ugly mug uh, a little comparison shot. I'll put the figure here next to, the, um, next to this one so you can see the color scheme difference. So they did do kind of like, what they did was they painted it to look, if you look at the drawing, and again, the, the artwork here is kind of dim, so it's hard to see, but if you look at the drawing, you'll see that 
the sketch has kind of a certain color scheme to it and they actually did the paint to match the color scheme. Now I'm not one for purchasing all repaints, but this is kind of cool. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, I, you know, whatever, whatever moves you as a collector, right? That's what you do. So really cool. Uh, it's got a really nice, um, more, you know, more extended artwork on the back. So you can see that. And again, it just has that vintage style. I love it. It's really cool. Um, I don't imagine this is going to hang on many pegs. I mean, although this isn't a main character, um, you know, it is nice that we did get um, this one. I'm looking forward to Hasbro hopefully releasing more uh, Mandalorian uh, one-off characters because they're awesome. And, and, and I think that you can have many great adventures and they work great in, they work great in displays and that kind of thing. So I'm excited about that. All right. And here's our other one, okay? This is obviously Entertainment Earth. And this one is, this one will be a full unboxing. We have the episode, I believe this is episode two, Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there he is, number figure number 111, all right? So it's got the photo reel imagery. Let's, why don't we get this guy out? the box and again I'll just while I'm taking it out of the box I will give you some shots of it so you can see it up close uh, and I'm really loving the uh, black series figures I think that they they do a really great job with them I love the sculpts I love the ability to pose it all right and uh, allowing you to do some different things with it this is obviously um, I wish it came, you know what I wish it came with? I wish it came with the droid that was flying over um, Coruscant that kind of had the canister with the big, with the huge centipedes that tried to kill Amidala. And then you could have like Obi-Wan kind of hanging off of it like this. Like that. I want that thing. Um, it's a funny, but episode two, I mean, it's amazing to think that that movie came out 18 years ago. 18 years ago. Uh, it's just amazing to me. So, there he is. Not much action. Well, I guess he had a little bit of action with his lightsaber in, uh, you know, in in the uh, arena at the end. Here's a guy. Hello there. I guess that was episode three. So, what would this be? Uh, why do I have the feeling you were going to be the death of me? <laughs> so, awesome. Really cool. Um, great, uh, neat, uh, soft, good kind of, uh, top upper tunic, a little different than normal. Um, good posability again. Uh, again, in, in this particular setting, it's hard for me to kind of point whether or not he can stand, but I will just give you, take my word for it, but I'll also get some photo shot of him in his, uh, stance, but I can already tell that he's going to be a uh, pretty, uh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, he stands. He stands no problem. There he is. Where did he go? Now you can't see him. That's all right. <laughs> but I can I can assure you, he does stand. So he passes the stand test. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mandalorian. All right. So awesome. Great to have uh, these guys in here. Thank you so much. It's going to end it for this for this episode. I don't have to vote. They don't have to be super long. Uh, again, uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, check out all my other videos. Welcome to our new subscribers. And... Um, make sure you hit the like and, and all that kind of stuff, all those stuff they tell you to do, because frankly, it does help the channel. And uh, if you're interested in supporting the channel even more, uh, check out some of the art and stuff that you can get on the tea, my T Public store, and all sorts of things. Not just shirts; you can get shirts of any kind. You can get, uh, you know, stickers and buttons and other things. So pretty cool stuff. So I hope you'll take that into consideration. Uh, always love the support, and uh, you're also supporting the artist who drew all these things. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force and the toys be with you.